I've always loved tattoos, even as a kid. They always just seem so interesting to me. All the different shapes, colors, sizes, designs. It just seems so cool. And yet, I never understood the negative stigma against them, where people who have tattoos are associated with being criminals or doing bad stuff. It just never really made sense to me that that was the case. They all have a meaning to that person, whether it be it signifies a lost family member or you were out with your friends having a fun time and you ended up losing a bet. Every tattoo has a story, and this is mine. I got my first tattoo when I was about 18 years old. I chose to get three mountains on my chest right above my heart to symbolize me and my two younger brothers. My younger brothers Paul and Ryan were born when I was nine years old and I realized very early on into being an older brother that they were going to be two of the most important people in my life. I chose to get the mountains above my heart to really signify that no matter how much we may fight or argue or disagree, we're always going to stay grounded and love each other. After going through the process of getting the mountains tattooed on my chest, I thought that if I ever got a new tattoo, it might be a good idea to document it. So here I am. I was never really driven as a kid. I skated through school, got A's and B's, played the occasional sports. It just wasn't really a time where I knew what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't have that drive, like I said. And when I graduated high school, my parents wrote me a note in my graduation present. And in that note, they talked about how they were going to support me throughout whatever I pursue in the future, whatever I choose to study, what I want to do with my life. And at the bottom of that note was a small little message that talked about hummingbirds. It said that throughout history, hummingbirds have really been used to symbolize people carrying their hopes and dreams to the future. Right next to the note was a drawing of a hummingbird. I chose to get this drawing tattooed on my inner arm to really symbolize that I'm finally taking drive with my life and pursuing film. So I reached out to a couple artists in the Tampa Bay area and one of the artists that got back to me was Walter Lopez. He's an artist at a tattoo shop called Red Letter One in downtown Tampa. Through emailing back and forth ahead of time, I was able to pick out a design that I really liked and I wanted to get. And I went to the shop the next day and got it. I don't know what it is about tattoos. Yes, this is my second one but I still haven't really shaken that nerve-wracking feeling when you first walk in and you're ready to get it. You're making a permanent alteration to your body, and yet it's not something that's so simple. It means something to whoever gets it. And it just, while it may be nerve-wracking, it's still this good feeling. I think Walter did a great job on it. It looks really good. Like my first one, it signifies a major point in my life, but this one in particular really serves as a reminder to me to always pursue what I want and do what I love with my life. 